Greetings Pilgrims and welcome to a new episode of the Polygon Pilgrimage and today we're finally getting started with modeling for the ship. I know you guys have been looking forward to this for quite some time. I had to do a lot of stuff with mood boards but that's because we needed our idea to be solid and now we can move forward with creating the shape. We have an interesting shape so now it will be worth creating. So here you can see I start off with uh, what's called the block out phase for those of you who are unfamiliar. We're just going to go ahead and create the rough shape. It's really nothing uh, detailed at the moment. We don't want detail really. Uh, the only detail is in refining the overall flow of the shape. Think of it like you're modeling a pillow almost. There's no real surface detail, there's no intricate detail, it's just the overall shape. So we're getting that shape down. As you can see, I do a couple of things. A lot of work with symmetry in the beginning because we're going to add the interesting details later. Right now we're just getting the overall shape so we use that symmetry to help us see that both sides are moving correctly. It really helps when you're modeling curves and that sort of thing to really get it narrowed down to a point that you can see how the curve works on both sides. And as you can see here, I've cut out the, uh, the hangers. I think I went down to one hanger at the end because there's going to be one on both sides, so a total of two. But I cut them out anyway. And start adding just a few edges, a few cuts, in order to get myself the pole shapes that I need, make room for the ring, and uh, just kind of refine the shape in the back a little bit. And then here in a moment, we're going to switch over to modeling of the actual ring. And I'm going to show you my original notes for that and where I went from with that. It's quite interesting. Okay, so here we are with my original sketch, just on a quick little, you know, uh, yellow pad there. It's like, okay, what, what do I want for this ring? And once I figured out a shape and that design, I said, okay, now let's just, you know, let's go for it. So I took the shape from the ship to make sure that the ring matches correctly. And then I started just building the pieces here. And as you can see, working with symmetry, making sure that I have pieces that are moving on both sides and using that central pivot. That's a, that's a uh, pardon the pun, but it is a pivotal uh, idea in here is to use that central pivot so I can mirror across and make sure that all my pieces are moving together. And I did go ahead and animate it here while I was working so that I could figure out how it's going to move because once it's moving then I know what pieces you can and cannot see and that is uh, very uh, important later on to make sure that we don't spend time building things you're not going to see but I make sure that I build enough that when it opens up and you do see it that it is there and I haven't missed anything. So as you can see here with the uh, going through with the ring, adding some internal detail, trying to split it into multiple sections. The idea was that there were these large, almost generator-like pieces on the end, and the whole thing would kind of accordion out, and then those pieces would shift into position, and those would generate the field that we're going to use to transport our drones through time and space. And then the rest of it is kind of like a stabilizing agent. It uses these additional internal mini rings, if you will, to uh, generate the field and maintain it across the two points. So then just adding some, some details in here, making sure that uh, it's interesting in the shape and we don't have just the same shape every time. I wanted to have these sort of almost like lights or uh, runway light kind of things going on to kind of guide the ships through. And then just working with the animation here the whole time to make sure that, okay, this moves and then this moves out and making sure that it's gonna be interesting for the viewer when it's all complete. So that's, uh, that's about it for now for the uh, base modeling. Uh, next time we should be getting into more of the uh, detailed modeling. I'm working on some of that now. So as always, guys, I hope you have enjoyed. Keep practicing, get better, and I'll see you next time as the pilgrimage continues.